for years I've been writing about religion. And in whatever, uh, in whatever tradition I'm writing and whatever subject I'm taking up, I kept being brought back to compassion, whether it was a history of God, a history of Jerusalem, even a history of fundamentalism. Um, this kept coming back. Every single one of them had at its core what's often called the golden rule, never treat others as you would not like to be treated yourself. Uh, every one of them insists that, that this is the test of true spirituality. And yet, you never hear about it. One of the main tasks of our, of our generation is to build a global community where people of all persuasions can live together in harmony and respect. And the religions with this ethic should be making a major contribution. And yet they're often seen as part of the problem. Mm -hmm. So I worked to create, craft, propagate and launch a charter for compassion uh, ju ju to recall religion away from all the doctrines and the peripheral things back to this uh, so that we could address uh, this uh, th 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 these severe problems in our time because it seems to me that frankly unless we learn to implement the golden rule globally so that we treat all peoples both within our own societies and globally, worldwide, as we would wish to be treated ourselves, we're not going to have a viable world for the next generation. But I take it your answer is an idea can be a deadly serious thing. Yes. If people simply embrace ideas, that's enough then it translates into action. We just need to take the idea and say, now let's do something with it. Let's run with it. Now, one of the things we've done is uh, we're creating a network of compassionate cities. Seattle declared itself the first city of compassion in 2010. And that doesn't mean they're saying we are compassionate, but they're putting compassion on their radar. And uh, they've got a sort of shadow city council whereby they, sh each, they shadow what's going on in terms of homelessness. Uh, they brought the community together after a dreadful shooting accident in the city uh, just last year. And each year the city uh, works on a particular practical issue. So, and it raises awareness. It brings compassion back from the back from lumber room of our mind and puts it back into the forefront. We have now to be activists in compassion as other people are activists in hatred and to find imaginative ways of, of achieving this and making it realizable. I like the Cities campaign because it's trying to insert compassion into the gritty urban heart of our 21st century civilization.